This is Jenkins Farms. Good morning, everybody. Got a little bit of good news to report to you today. You know we've been in a big drought. We're still in a big drought. But uh, we have gotten just a little bit of rainfall. Some of our fields to the south picked up close to a half an inch. And we've gone from anywhere from a half an inch to still really nothing. We've got about a tenth of an inch here at the barn. Still kind of misting and cloudy and overcast. So that'll, that'll help a little bit. But I'm going to show you the corn here and what a difference it's made in it. Look how much better just that little bit of rain made the corn look. This is our youngest corn that we have. It's what, a little over waist tall now. Um, just yesterday, you can see right down the rows with no problem when it was all twisted up and didn't have any moisture in it. Just a little bit of rain that it did get and the overcast and it's still misting. That's helped made it feel just a little bit better. Although it won't last long as soon as the sun comes out, but we're very thankful for it. It's much better than nothing at all. And hopefully there'll be more coming soon. So this morning, we're working on the peanut planters. You know, I, I posted the video the other day about making peanut M&Ms, or where do peanut M&Ms come from? It's kind of a, just a kind of little fun video. But today we're getting everything ready because we've got to have several good days in a row to plant our, finish planting our peanuts. So Chase is changing our pump that pumps our spray for our m application. So the other day we jokingly talked about the tanks had chocolate in them and hard candy shell and all that. But the real reason that we have the tanks in the m application, the biggest reason is to be able to apply inoculant onto the seed. So why do we need inoculant? Peanuts are part of the legume family. And for those of you that don't know, they do grow underground. So what happens is we put the inoculant in the tanks along with some other chemicals. It comes from the tanks, comes back here to the pump that Chase is changing out. Goes through there, there's our little uh, monitors, which are basically they have little, see if I can fit my fat self through here. It's hard to see right now, but right here is a little ball. And when the chemical starts flowing, the ball will float up into this area here. And you'll be able to see the balls floating all the way across there. And that, that just tells you that everything's flowing like it should and that nothing's stopped up or there's not a, if something was stopped up, obviously the ball would be not floating near as high. Or if there was a busted hose or a problem like that where you had excessive flow, the ball would be floating way up higher. So that's how we monitor the flow of our chemical. So as I said, peanuts are part of a legume family and it has to have inoculate so that it can fix its own nitrogen. So that's the unique part of a peanut is like the corn, we have to put all kinds of nitrogen on it. Lots of nitrogen. Peanuts, we don't have to put any. They make their own as long as we supply them with the proper bacteria so they can fix their nitrogen. Other ways that inoculant helps is by uh, helping protect the plant from seedling disease. It enhances root vigor, which the bigger the roots, the stronger the roots, the more healthy the plant. And that helps with nutrient uptake and moisture uptake and such as that. It also helps suppress um, rhizoctonia and fusarium root rot, which are huge problems with a peanut plant. And in the end of the day, what we all want is a better yield. So we use this on 100% of our acres. Um, the bacteria that it needs is not naturally found in the soil. So we have to put it there. Once we put it there, it does stay in the soil, but it's my belief that it's not in high enough numbers to optimize yield, I guess. That's kind of how I feel about it. I'm sure there are studies that say otherwise, but I like to put it out there every year 
and if I am planting into a field that hasn't had peanut on it in several years or ever, then I double my rate. So I'm a firm believer in applying inoculant whether you think you need it or not. So hopefully you've learned just a minute or two worth of knowledge, gained a minute or two worth of knowledge about the peanut plant and inoculants and why we use those. So our goal is to get the planter going. Um, no more than it rained. Hopefully we'll be able to even plant some a little bit later today. And uh, kind of getting against that deadline, you know. I, I'd like to have everything planted by June 1st, so we're working hard on that. If the weather will allow, Jenkins Farms will get it done. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Good seeing you. Please remember to like our, ch or like our video and subscribe to our channel. Talk to you soon.